within the last 24 hours, NCDOT says that it has reopened 40 roads in western North Carolina, but there's a lot more work to do. The agency is calling on local businesses to help with contract work, saying it needs all hands on deck for these type of repairs. WCNC Charlotte Julia Kaufman takes a closer look for us tonight. NCDOT has a long road ahead in the mountains and has now opened contract bids to get help. It's asking local businesses to apply for work like heavy towing and wood waste removal. Rebuilding and repairing after Helene swept away hundreds of roads and bridges. Sometimes these bridges that are privately owned are on a, a road that serves 10 houses, they're gone. So now you've got 10 houses worth of folks that might otherwise be in good shape. Their house made it through okay, but they've got all their vehicles on the wrong side of the river. Leith Davis lives in Lansing and helped create Lansing's Bridge to Recovery to fix fallen infrastructure. I'm trying to put everything back together the best way we know how. Across western NC, Wright Brothers Construction is clearing debris and building temporary roads and bridges. It's quite extensive. Um, we've seen houses where roads used to be. Uh, we've seen awful things caused by the storm. Project manager Tanya Balls says they're contracting with NCDOT to rebuild their community. Our home is just north of Asheville, and uh, to see the community come together and, and really work together to to try to support each other is is really been fantastic. The agency is looking for more contractors like them to help. We anticipate that about 120 bridges will have to be replaced. And as more debris gets removed and more examinations reveal more damage, that number is likely to rise. NCDOT spokesperson David Uchiyama says 820 roads have reopened since the storm. But 460 are still closed, as are 674 bridges. Replacing infrastructure is expected to cost billions of dollars. And much of that money will go to contractors who do the work. There's debris that needs to be removed. Roads and bridges need to be designed in the first place, then built. NCDOT is hosting several in-person workshops to teach businesses how to bid and apply for these contracts. We have details on how you can attend on our website, WCNC.com. Julia Kaufman, WCNC Charlotte. Another reminder tonight is we still have viewers reaching out to us asking how they can help storm victims. Go ahead, please scan the QR code on the screen. It'll show you multiple ways that you can make an impact, whether it's just donating supplies, maybe money, or even your time. Every bit helps, of course. Again, scan that QR code. Thank you for your continued kindness and generosity.